y'all this is Norma and welcome to my channel today I'm making some pork chops with mushroom sauce so this is my pork chop right here here I have some carrots I have clove I have thyme yellow onion mushrooms and potato all-purpose flour. I'm going to batter my pork chops. I have my pot right here with water and I'm going to put my potato and all my carrots in there and take it to my stove. I'm moving on to cutting up my onions and my mushrooms. Some I'm going to leave large, some I'm going to cut in half and some other ones I'm going to make it very um, fine. Let me do that and I'll be back. So I've cut up all my mushrooms. I told you in three different sizes. I have my onions that I've cut up and I'm leaving my clove whole. So I'm going to set that aside. We're moving on to the pork chops. I have my cutting board. I put some saran wrap and I'm going to put my pork chops And I'm going to put some saran wrap over my pork chops. And now I'm going to use my tenderizer. And I'm just going to flatten it. And now I'm going on to season my pork chops. I'm going to put some black pepper. Some onion powder. Some paprika. And some salt. I'm gonna flip it around and do the same. I put it on the other side and I'm just gonna rub it in. I'm gonna cover it and set it aside for 30 minutes and I will be back for us to start to fry it. It's been 30 minutes my flour is right here. I'm just going to put a little bit of black pepper in there. The same way that I seasoned my pork chops. Some paprika. Onion powder. And some salt. I'm going to stir that around and I'm going to put my pork chops in there. On both sides I'm just going to batter it. And do the same thing with the other one. Now let's go onto my stove to fry. I have my stove on medium. I'm going to put some extra virgin olive oil. And some butter. and then I'm gonna put my pork chops in there. The butter is getting brown but it's not burning. 
And now I'm going to add my pork chops. I'm going to fry about four minutes on each side. It's been four minutes and I'm going to turn it around and do the same on the other side. That also cooked for four minutes. It's another four minutes and it's time for me to take my pork chops out. In my pot, I'm going to put the thyme and it's low. And I'm going to put my garlic. And garlic burns quickly, so make sure you wash it. And now I'm going to add the onion and the mushroom. I cooked it for four minutes and I'm going to bring my stove up a little bit between medium and high. And I'm going to put some of my cooking wine in there. And let that cook. I've been cooking it down for five minutes. I'm going to take this out of the pot. And I'll be back. I'm using the same pot. I'm going to put some unsalted butter. And some extra virgin olive oil. and I turn it back down to low and I put it in my flour and I'm going to cook this And I will cook this a few minutes. And I'm going to add my ch chicken broth. If you have vegetable broth, you can use that also. I had it cooking for three minutes. I'm going to add my heavy whipping cream in there. And now I'm going to add some of my hot sauce. You can skip that if you don't like your food spicy. Going back in my onions and mushroom, but I took the thyme out. I'm going to season it, bring it back up to a boil, add my pork chops, and then let it continue to cook. I'm adding some black pepper. Some paprika. Some onion powder. And some salt. And you can taste it and see if it's enough for you. Stir it around. And I'm going to put my pork chops back in there. 
time to add the pork chops back in. And I'm going to cover it and cook it for 10 minutes. But after 5 minutes, I'll flip it on the other side. It's been 5 minutes. And I'm turning my pork chops on the other side. And my stove is on medium low. My pork chops and mushroom is ready. And I'm going to plate my food. I have my pork chops, I have mashed potato, and my carrots. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button so each time I upload you will be notified. Bye bye.